ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Winnie Pao and I'm from class 12A1 and today I'm very delighted to represent my class to take part in the English speaking contest of Dickin Huang High School in 2021. So now let's get started. According to a statistic by Hootsuite, there are over 4.2 billion social media users as of January 2021. With the advancement of technology, the majority of people now have a phone, computer, and access to the internet on a global scale. Everyone has been exposed to Facebook, Instagram, and maybe Zalo in Vietnam. As a result, we have a very intriguing topic today regarding behavioral culture on social networks. I'm so eager to offer my thoughts on this. On the one hand, it is true that social networking is one of the ways to bring people closer together and we can learn and catch up with a lot of information on social media. For instance, we can make friends with good people who can give us valuable advice and improve relationships, read news in our own nation or overseas from websites like Facebook or YouTube. What a great thing, right? And now, let's, let's move on to the next part. I would like to ask you this question. Have you ever seen technology rudeness like Blender, rude comment, or even bullying? I guess the answer would be yes, right? On the other hand, social networks are also a space for people to express their personality and opinion without fear of being judged or criticized by others. As a result, there are still some people who use social networks to do harmful behavior. For example, this is a real story about a girl named Hallie Lambert and this 30 years old girl took her life due to cyberbullying. She suffered from epilepsy and her classmates taunted her about it. This is bullying continued through online platforms and forums. They have often tell her to kill herself because of her condition. Holly couldn't take the bullying anymore and she killed herself. To address these issues, cyberbullying victims should save the email, chat logs or SMS and tell it to teachers, parents or even police. In conclusion, in order to become super life citizens and behave correctly, every one of us must be conscious and responsible when using social networks and not let inappropriate words harm those around us. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you all for listening. Goodbye and have a good day.